Good morning, 4K. Mrs. Bennett and Eleanor here with your morning message and a kind of fun story for us today and a little craft idea when you're done with the story. So we better get started, right? Okay. We're going to do some reading today. And today, as we read, we're really going to use all we know about letters and sounds to try to figure out some words. Think we can do that? I know you can. Like the first word. The first word starts with a letter M, and M makes a mmm sound. So what day do you think it is that starts with mmm? What do you think? Monday. Yeah. So let's read. Monday, November 23. Good morning, 4K. And you know what this is, right? Boop! Exclamation point. All right, Ellie, I'm going to have you move your head over. See if our friends can find a question mark. Can you point to it? Yeah, right here at the end. Ready? Boop! Question mark. That means I'm asking you a question that you get to answer. Now, this question is a lot of words. So we're going to read one word at a time, and we're going to use some letters to help us figure out the words. I'll help with some of them, but you're going to have to help me with a few. The first word says have. Sometimes questions start with have. Like, have you got a brother or sister? Or mm, does the store have any M&Ms? Yeah, I know. Ellie likes M&Ms. All right, it says, have you ever made a... Now we're going to look at this next word. Let's see what letter it starts with. Do you know what letter that is? That's T. We worked on T, didn't we? That's lowercase t. It looks like a plus or a cross. And T makes a sound t t t t. So this word is going to start with a t t sound. Have you ever made a t t? <gasps> what do you think? Turkey. This word says turkey. Have you ever made a turkey with your... We're going to figure out another word. This word starts with... Do you know this letter? We've worked on that one too. That's letter H. H. Lowercase h. Big line down and a hump. H makes a sound... Have you ever made a turkey with your hand? Look, hand ends with a D sound. Hand. Good job. Let's read that whole sentence together. Actually, let's read the whole message. You ready? Okay. Monday, November 23. Good morning, 4K. Have you ever made a turkey with your hand? Have you ever done that? You can make a turkey. Sometimes kids do this. Sometimes grown-ups do it too. You put your hand like this and you can trace around your fingers onto the paper and cut it out and it kind of looks like this is the turkey's head and this is all its feathers and this is its body. And then you can give it some little legs and draw some details on it. Well, in today's story, setting the turkeys free, um, a little boy makes some turkeys with his hand, but he doesn't trace his hands. He actually uses paint. He smears his hand around in the paint, and look at that. Handprint turkey. But then he's going to start to imagine things are happening to his turkeys. Setting the Turkeys Free, written by W. Nicola Lisa, illustrated by Ken Wilson Max. Look, he's already got paint and paintbrushes out. There he is with his paints, and who else is with him? His dog. Come see, my dog and I are making a turkey. First, I put my hand in paint. Should we pretend we're doing that? Then I spread my fingers apart and press my hand onto a big piece of paper. 
when I lift my hand, <gasps> look, there's a turkey. The thumb is the head, the palm is the body, the fingers are the feathers. They look like a tail. Now all it needs are some legs and feet. I know, I could use toothpicks. See, now my turkey can walk. <laughs> hey, not so fast, turkey. I still need to decorate you. Here are some fun, shiny things. Looks like he found some glittery pieces like sequins. Now my turkey is beautiful, but all alone. Oh, this turkey's all alone. What do you think he'll do? Make another one? Oh, oh my gosh, you're right. So I make another one and another and another till I have lots of turkeys. I love my turkeys. They're all different colors, aren't they? A whole lot of turkeys together is a flock. All right, a flock of turkeys. Yeah. To keep my turkeys safe, I make a pen out of popsicle sticks. Now they can run around in their own little yard. Look at that, a pen is like a fenced in area for animals. Uh oh, the storm is coming. And what's that I see? Oh, Foxy the Fox, where'd he come from? <laughs> go away, Foxy the Fox, you're frightening my turkeys. Gobble, gobble, gobble! Go away. Gobble, gobble! Shoo! <laughs> it's fun to make turkey noises. Should we make turkey noises? Because this page is full of gobbles. Gobble with me, ready? Gobble, 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 Look! Foxy the fox can't believe his eyes. The turkeys are hiding behind each other. Can you see them all? Look, there's all their legs down here. The yellow one and the green one and the blue one and the red one. To him, they look like one big fat turkey dinner. <gasps> Foxy's got his fork and knife ready. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. No, Foxy the fox. You can't have my turkeys. What should I do? I know. I make a fist, smear it in paint, and press it onto the paper, right in front of Foxy the Fox. There! Try getting over that big bumpy rock. So he made turkeys, and now he made a rock to keep them safe. Oh no! Foxy the Fox is climbing over the rock. I have to save my turkeys. Quickly, I unlock the gate and push it open, setting the turkeys free. The turkeys are gonna go out of the pen now. Now there's not a turkey in sight. Ha, take that, you mean old fox. There will be no turkey dinner for you today. But now, I miss my turkeys. What do you think he should do? Hmm. Let's see. So I cover the rock with grass. I did some more painting. And I put little pieces of corn on the ground inside the turkey pen. And hope that someday, my turkeys will come home to me. This is a box of popcorn seeds. And I think he's gluing them right to his project. Maybe his turkeys will come back. Turkeys like corn. Mm -hmm. And they do! How many turkeys does he have? Should we count them? One, two, three, four. Four turkeys. And I want to show you something kind of funny in the picture. Remember his dog was with him and helping him? And this dog is wearing a blue collar with his name on it. His name is Foxy. <gasps> Do you think he was pretending that his dog was the fox? <laughs> I think so. Here's his artwork. Look, I think he put it up on the wall in his bedroom right over his bed where Foxy is sleeping. 
There's the pen he made out of popsicle sticks and the grass and all his turkeys with their toothpick legs. <laughs> That's the end of setting the turkeys free. So, I thought it might be fun if we made some turkeys. And if we were in the classroom, we would all make turkeys during centers today. Since we're not in the classroom, you can make a turkey at home and choose whatever you have at home that you'd like to make it out of. So I wanna show you a couple of examples. Remember the little boy in the story dipped his hand in some paint and he made a hand print with that. So if you um, want to do some painting, you ask a grown up, right? Ask a grown up if they can help you paint your hand or smear your hand in paint. If they'll let you do some handprint turkeys, you could do it that way and decorate them however you want to. Or you can put your hand on a piece of paper and trace or have someone help you trace. And then you can cut out the turkey or you can just color it in right there on the paper. So Eleanor and I made a couple of turkeys just with things that we found in her craft supplies. You don't have to find anything fancy. This is just construction paper. And I had a crazy scissors, so I cut it with my crazy scissors. I did my handprint, and then I cut some feather pieces, and I glued them together. Eleanor found googly eyes, so we gave him a googly eye, and he has some little stick legs, and then I like fancy things. I found some sparkles in Eleanor's craft bin. So I made a sparkly turkey with paper and glue. Ellie, can you show us your turkey too? Okay. What did you start with? I started with a doily. A doily. She had a, a heart-shaped doily left from Valentine's Day. And then she added some feathers cut out of a foam piece that we found. And she gave him some wiggly eyes and drew his beak. Turkeys eat with their beak, right? And she gave him some little feet, some turkey legs. So anything that you have that you like to create with, you can draw a turkey, you can glue together a turkey, you can paint a turkey, you could build a turkey. Maybe you'd rather make a turkey with your Legos or something like that. You could build a turkey. And I would love for you to take a picture of it on your seesaw activity share your turkey with us and I will put all the pictures together and send it back out to you so you can see the whole flock of 4k turkeys. It'll be cool. <laughs> if you want, you could make up a story about your turkeys. Kind of like this boy imagined that Foxy the fox was after his turkeys. It was probably his dog, wasn't yeah. it? So he did some other things in his art um, to help keep those turkeys safe. If you want to tell a story about your turkeys, you can add that to your seesaw activity by using the microphone for talking or by asking a grown-up to help you write down your story and putting it right in your picture. I can't wait to see all your turkeys, the whole flock of 4K turkeys. Don't worry, we won't set them free. We'll keep them for you. Bye-bye for now.